I really am a mess sometimes. Allie, hey, you're allowed to be messy, but you are not a mess. I'm so sorry that she can't see you for who you are because she's missing out on an incredible person. I wish I could have said I was surprised by what had happened. She did seem surprised when she came in. Yeah. Then one minute later, her head was back in the sand. So it seems like maybe you guys have been here before. Sort of. I've tried to talk to her, but she just bobs and weaves and dodges the subject every time she could have given Muhammad Ali a run for his money. Her denial did seem practiced. You would have thought that the woman in my bed would have made it a little harder for her to avoid the subject this time. Happy to help. The confusing part is, so many of her friends and colleagues are gay. Really? Yes. And she doesn't have any issue with them, none. But when it comes to me, her own daughter, I, yes, but maybe it's because you are her daughter. She cares about you and, and she worries about you more than she would for someone that was just a friend. Yeah, I wish we could talk about it like normal people. This is hard enough. You know, climbing over the walls she puts up. My family means everything to me, and I've always tried to be a good daughter, the kind of person my mom would be proud of, and now she won't even look at me, even though I'm exactly the same person I always have been. It should not be this hard. There are actual problems in the world. I guess for my mom, I'm one of them. I must come. Same. You and your mom can also eventually. I'm not holding my breath. You've already had your coming out. It's not fair to ask you to come along for my ride. Is that it, or are you sorry you called me your girlfriend? I have a sir. Be sorry that I called you my girlfriend. From the first time we kissed, I knew what I felt for you was real and strong, and I wondered how I'd find the courage to tell my mother, but when the time came, the words just came out. And for the first time in forever, I feel free. And I hope you never lose that. I'm not gonna let someone take it from me, that's for sure. I think we've been honest about everything so far, and we just have to continue to be honest about everything with your mom. She may never come around. My past experience with her is reason enough for me to believe that she won't. She just has to see how important this is to you, to us. Even then, there's no guarantee she'll understand. Well, there's no guarantee anyway. We didn't get into this because there was a guaranteed happy ending, did we? So you just have to talk to her and try. Don't worry. I will. Okay. I have to get going to my meeting for the foundation. This isn't an ending, but I already feel happier with you. <laughs>